going on my friends we're helio diaz here from knowledge to live by and today we are going to go in on the lone wolf mindset give me one second let me type that in is it good or bad right i know a lot of us can relate to this man And I'll tell you why I resonate with this so much. Okay. All right, there we go, guys. So, I know there's a lot of lone wolves out there, man. A lot of people that feel they are the army, right? that they can do everything and anything by themselves. And that used to be me. That used to be me. Hey, Frederick. <laughs> Welcome, buddy. So, yes, the topic is the lone wolf mindset. Frederick, is it good or bad, man? So, again, I used to have this mindset where I, I believed I was the only thing I needed. I didn't want any outside help, any outside assistance. And I was, I was just doing everything on my own, right? I was that one-man army, like I said, a one-man army mentality, lone wolf mentality. And it worked for some time. It worked, bro. It worked for some time. Thank you, buddy. So, what... And see, guys, I didn't really have a choice because I was... I was raised by myself, bro. Like, I was a lonely kid, man. You know, growing up, my parents were working. They were working 12-hour shifts to put, to put food on the table. You know, all that shit, man. So I spent a lot of time by myself in my room. I spent a lot of time with uh, my babysitter, right? It was, it was just me uh, for, alone for long periods of time. And because of that, I got to be, become my own best friend. I got to discover things about myself that I didn't know were there. I discovered pieces of myself that I didn't know existed. And I became very comfortable with that. I became very comfortable with being alone, with being a loner, right? Just doing things by myself, going on walks by myself, going on, going to, to different, uh, just different events, different things by myself. Um, and like I said, that worked for a long time um, up until now, up until now. One of my friends, he told me, it's like, dude, if you really want to make it as an influencer, if you really want to make it as an entrepreneur, you got to put yourself out there. You have to connect with new people. You have to meet new people. You can't just be on the solo shit forever. And I was stubborn, bro. I am one stubborn ass guy, <laughs> if you didn't know. So I, I'm i like, yeah, yeah, you know. Um, I didn't really pay much attention to it. But as time went by and I started getting deeper into this journey, I realized like, damn, maybe he's right. You know, maybe he is right. Hey, George, welcome, bro. So I, I started making new connections. I started building new relationships, right? With I joined this mastermind uh, called FTPA, and right there, there's it's a group of 300 plus people, and I became a part of it. So what I started doing was I started showing love. I started commenting on everybody's posts. I started going to their channel, going to their you know the, the YouTube channel and showing love, and I started building real relationships. And slowly but surely, I've met I I have met some very amazing just wonderful people man for me putting myself out there and being vulnerable and not not being a loner anymore dude like i i really felt that it was time to take that up take that leap to the next level so if you're a loner bro i'm telling you man it'll work and you'll build your own confidence you'll build you know your own values your own belief systems but there is a point where if you want to reach that next level, you have to start building connections, man. Because that's when everything changed for me, guys. Everything, bro. I've, I've met people that, again, 
that live so far away, bro. I know people from New York. I know people from Greece, uh, Singapore, right? I know people from all around the world, and we're like best friends, dude. And I never would have thought, you know, I never would have thought that, to be honest. But if I didn't put myself out there, if I didn't reach out to people and start building connections, that never would have happened. So the lone wolf mindset does serve you and it does serve a purpose, but there's a time for that, right? There's a phase of that. You just gotta know when it's time to let it go. Um, because I know it's, you know, it, it gratifies the ego that you can do everything and you don't need nobody's help, but there comes a time where you're like, dude, you need a team, you need a squad, you need people that have your fucking back, bro. And that will, again, that will take you to a whole other level. So I'm telling you today, connect with people, reach out to people, show love. You have to show love to get love. You can't just put out content and not like or comment on any of your followers or any of the people that show you love. That's not how it works, man. I'm telling you. Um, so do that, bro. Do that. Show love to get love, man. And uh, yeah, yeah, like, dude, let, let go. Oh, again, if you feel it's right, if you feel it's time, right? Do you resonate with it? How do you feel when I tell you that to let go of the lone wolf mindset? Because again, there's a time for it. There's a purpose and there's a time to let go. But when you start building connections, imagine this a whole other door, a whole other realm of opportunities start opening for you, right? The universe in a sense is creating new doors for you when you start making new connections. So I strongly advise that you do this, guys. You know, don't don't let your ego get the best of you, bro. We're not that smart. <laughs> you know, as as much as we like to think we are not that smart. You know, there's something that that this person can know that you don't know that they can teach you. And because of that, you take your business, you take your brand to a whole other level. But you don't know that. You don't know that you you don't know what you don't know. So I'm telling you because I've been there because I'm doing it that you if you really want to take that business take that dream to the next level and start making connections and be real be authentic be true man everybody loves truth bro don't don't have the wrong intentions like oh I, I wonder how I can use this person like no bro no energy doesn't lie my friend they will catch catch that so fast and the universe will catch that so fast <laughs> hey Danny so yeah bro just be just keep it real just keep it real, man. Reach out to people, show love, and and let them know you got them, bro. Let them know you got them. You know, I I send out a uh, a voice message, voice message to every single person that follows me, thanking them, showing them gratitude because I am grateful, and just letting them know that they have a new friend now because they do, bro. Because I'm some deep, deep levels deeper than what you see on the surface. We are all in this together. Let that be ingrained, bro. We are all in this together. Okay? But yeah. Yeah, guys. Like, again, I remember back when I was like 22. I'm 27 now. I, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do this all by myself. I'm going to be a self-made entrepreneur. <laughs> and, and then I, I came to realize that that's stupid, man. Because if it wasn't for my mom, if it wasn't for people around me, I would have never been able to get to this level, dude, this level of light, this level of, of consciousness. So I have no issue saying, nah, bro, I'm not self-made. Everybody made me. The people around me made me. My mother made me. Like, if you only knew how much my mom has helped me, bro, if you only fucking knew. But it's 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 a team. It's a team mentality, dude. Not a lone wolf, it's a pack mentality. So keep that in mind, bro. Like, it, it, when you go through that phase of being a lone wolf, it's cool. You know, you learn how to lead yourself. Because, and you have to learn how to lead yourself. Because if you don't know how to lead yourself, you're not going to be able to lead the pack, right? You're not going to be able to lead the team. So it's, it's definitely necessary, but don't stay there. Don't let that be the rest of your life, bro. Because I'm telling you, look, you'll get success, but there's going to be a cap. 
you're gonna get a, your success is gonna be capped, it's gonna be limited because you need other people, you need resources, man. So yeah, dude, just just something to keep in mind. Like like it's it's not all about you, bro. It's not all about you. And the more value, the more help you can bring to someone, the more they're gonna appreciate you, the more they're gonna have your back. Because again, you have to show love to get love. But yeah, just my little rant today, guys. <laughs> just my little rant today. Um, hope you guys have a great weekend, right? Hope you guys, hope you guys are living your best life, man. Again, every day should be the best day of your life. Every day should be the best day of your life. And if you think otherwise, then you're doing something wrong. Remember, you fix your thinking, and then you fix your problems. All right, <laughs> keep that in mind. By the way, guys, I am going to Sedona, Arizona in August. Again, a shocking, shocking trip that I never thought I, I would be going to. I'm going to be going over there for a spiritual retreat. And um, I can't wait, bro. I'm going to document the whole shit. <laughs> I'm going to document everything, dude, right? Uh, I'll be driving there. So then I'll, I'll be recording on the road. I'll be recording videos, whatever new epiphanies, whatever new downloads I receive. I always get crazy downloads when I'm traveling. So I'll be sharing that with all of you, bro. With all of you, man. And guys, I again, if you can, if you can support, if you can show love, man. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to save up for the trip because I still, I, I have it all on my credit card, bro. So I have a month, <laughs> I have a month or well, two months, uh, to I have two months to to really save up, man. So if, if you guys want to support your boy. And you guys enjoy the free content. All I ask, bro, is to purchase what some of my products, man. You know, I have the new Digestible 33 that's available now. Again, the ultimate guide to reprogramming your biological computer, your body, bro. So check it out. Check it out, man. It's $3.33. I make all my products really affordable. <laughs> and you, you could even get the, the free audiobook, Fighting in the Dark. Right, you get, that's, that's that's free, bro. That's free. You just put zero dollars in the money box, and it's yours, man. Or if you want, again, if you want to help your guy out, if you want to support, you want to show love, just type in whatever X amount of money that that, that you want to pay for it. All right, guys. I just and the, the love that I've been showing these last couple of days, I'm so grateful, man. I'm so blessed. Hey, Phipps. <laughs> I feel again, just just like I, I can feel the love from everybody buying my products everybody sh sh supporting me man like like one person bought four products for me bro like you know how much love that is man and again it's all going towards the Sedona trip it's all going towards expanding my consciousness going deeper into my spirituality and and again I'll be making free content to give out to you guys on the road trip right I'll be recording I'll be any any new things any new epiphanies that I have I'm gonna be sharing them with you for free bro Again, and I always receive some savage ass information when I'm on the road. <laughs> so you can find the link in my bio. I'm also doing one on one mentorships right now, guys. I'm doing a buy one, get one free. I got you. You buy a session, I'm giving you one for free on me, bro. And I'm throwing in an audio book, a $30 value that is also free, bro. So, yeah, guys, uh, if you're hopping on this, Fips, catch the replay. You'll see what I'm talking about. And um, yeah, dude, enjoy it. Enjoy the day, enjoy the day, and again, I appreciate all the love, all the support, man, from the bottom of my fucking heart. Thank you. Thank you so much, bro. If you only knew how much it helps. If you only knew, dude. But, but yeah, I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> all right, much love. Every day should be the best day of your life. Until next time, guys, take care, my friends.